Chapter two, state requ chapter two, state requirements of educational facilities, section two, one, educational fi facilities, financial, the educational fi facility, financial capital outlay resource for all educational agencies, including school district, Florida colleges, university, and FSDBs, as well as other educational agencies, include the parameters under the state appropriated capital outlay, outlay funds may be added to burst and expert. The spending shall be described in the section administrative of the um, state board of education capital outlay programs. The commissioner shall be the agent of the state board of education. Um, to the administrative the State Board of Education capital outlay programs, including these pro those programs funded in the whole or par in part by the proceeds of the bonds issued in pursuant the Office of Education Facilities is designated to, to administrate education facilities, capital outlay plan planning, construction, and operation programs. The fixed capital outlay of Office of the Bureau of School Business Services is designated to administrate the educational facilities fixed to the capital outlay project and commencing the disbursement programs. The manuals for forms of the boards. Manuals and forms of boards for boards. Procedures and forms to be used by the board in reporting sources of the use of money together with a variety of depo uh, depository accounts made mentioned in the board as schedule shall be pre prescribed in the public in publication titled Financial Pro and Program Cost Accounting Reporting Florida Schools 2013 Red Book. Pursuant to 6A1001, Florida Administrative Accounting, Accounting Manual for the Florida Public Community College 2007. Pursuant to 6A1472, Florida Administrative Account. Um, codes. In addition with the forms and listed in these manuals, the following forms shall be used. Um, see it in the capital outlay de debit services forms of the OEF 217 FFC. This requests the State Board of Educational Approval Order 2 prior to the expenditure state capital outlay funds of the Florida College System. Uh, PPL is a part of the automated PPL forms in the EFIS Electronic Education Plan Survey for Florida Colleges. The OEF 217 PS requests the State Board of Educational Approval order the priority expenditure of state capital outlay funds to the public schools. The PPL is formed to automated PPL forms of two EFSI electrical, electrical educational plan survey publication public schools. Um, OEF SCOA dash one FC sample resolution requesting capital outlay bonds in Florida college system OFE OEF SCOA one PS state sample re resolution requesting issuance the capital outlay bonds the COBI um for public schools OEF two sixteen FC capital outlay bond issuance amendment for Florida college system t t OEF two sixteen PS P capital outlay bond issuance for um district the PECO applicable requesting for the fixed capital outlay funds of the appropriated revenue are distributed in like manner as prescribed in law. The FCO 352 capital outlay requesting encumbrance and authorization. FCO 442 Florida Department of Education Project Disimbursement Report. Cash disimbursement request as part of the automated fixed capital outlay ca accounting information. Other forms of the FCO 564 FC cost of construction report Florida College System. FCO 564 PS cost of construction report public school. The FCO 400 qualified public educational facility pre bond application FCO 410 qualified zone academic ac academy program bond program application um the five charter school capital outlay plan is prescribed in 6A2002 Florida administrative codes the OEF SCA, SFCA um, 10A Special Facilities Construction Account FSCA District School Board Resolution D The financial information required to the submitted the financial information required to the submitted department includes the prior October 1st each year that each district school board shall electronically submit five year district school um, district facilities work programs in the EFI, EFIS uh, to the office shall assure that the first year the plan conforms to the current year school boards. Um, Approved capital or outlay budget. The five-year district school board work program shall be at the um, work board five five-year district school district facility work program shall minimum complete financial feasible plan to five to ten years shall be consistent with the current approved recommendations of a five-year educational plan survey. Prior to the March 1st each year at all public school districts Florida colleges shall provide a fixed capital outlay office construction cost information educational facilities and were, were completed during the pre previous calendar that they were previously were completed during the previous year previous year. Um, prior to receiving the fixed capital outlay funds pursuant to Section 10.13.62 F Florida State Statutes, in the official year, the district shall submit a chapter school capital outlay for eligible charter school for pursuant to 6A2020 Florida Administrative Code. Um, 
by the by the end of each month all educational agencies shall submit a fixed capital outlay office of many monthly cash disbursement requests to establish project expenditures that occur during the subsequent 30 days prior to the disbursement of the funds and commerce and authorization request shall be submitted by the education agency approved by the department prior to the f February 15th August 15th on each of the year district has received the PICO appointing special fa facility construction pursuant projects pursuant to section 1013 64 2a state statute shall submit the fixed capital outlays Office of Reconciliation identified with the local funds available for the project. Prior to the prior to the prior to the February first of the each of the year, the all education agencies shall certify the fixed capital outlay offices of the fixed capital outlay appropriations that come effectively 31 months earlier and, and are under contract pursuant to Section 216.301.2 the Florida State Statute. The appropriations are not under the contract committed that the affected educational agency shall provide a jurisdiction exemption for the revision of this funds. Justification shall be compliant with the guidelines established for the executive officer of governor the prior to the receiving the fixed capital outlaying funding of the class size reduction prior project pursuant to section 1013 735 florida state statute any fiscal year a district shall submit certification that it does it does not meet the requirements of section 1013 735 florida statute um List, list of proposed facilities projects that are found in the pursuant to the section 1013-735 Florida State Statute skill, a scheduled estimated cash re request of the fixed capital outlay office for approval. Um, once approved for the district may receive an encumbrance and authorization against the funds pursuant to this 1013-735 Florida State Statute submitting FCO 352. Annual upon the request that affected education agency shall provide the fixed capital outlay office uh, a, a justification unexpected unexpected expended for fixed capital LA appropriation balances that were received more than three f years official year, three years um, official year earlier the justification must indicate why the funds in s are still in need of the educational agency the disbursement has not requested from the fixed capital LA of the office of agencies accounting for the reporting of fixed capital outlay monies the school board shall follow the generally accepted accountable principles established by the government accounting standards Board of further delineated the Department of Education Office of the Funding Financial Reporting Financial Program Accounts Assistance Reporting the Florida School Schools 2013 Red Book pursuant to the Rule 6A101 for the Administrative Code and State Requirements of Educational Facilities Section 1.4 Depository Accounts for School Boards. The School Boards shall establish a depository account in which the deposit precedes interest earned of the scale of each issue of the school of district bonds. A separate bond structure of the fund account is to be created with the school discretion depository for the purpose of the following. In funds interest earned may also be deposited in the account with the separate accounting for other sources. A state capital output outlay, state capital outlay funds preceded the um, state board of education bonds preceded the revenue certificate unless otherwise restricted issuing result resolution. A receipt of the local capital improvement tax levy, lev, levies um, proceeded with the section 1011 through 14 and 1015 federal state loan transfer operating funds federal sources uh, as allowed by the federal statutes are directed by, uh, by the commissioner. Um, proceeded that the sale real 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 proceed with the sale of real property the the capital outlay dish de, de, um debit source debit services um Funds are available to boards. Each board is entitled to a capital outlay debit, debit service funds on the basis of the instructional units. The capital outlay deb it debit services funds are currently authorized under the following provisions. Administrative expended and exp administrated and expended. All funds occurring to the benefit of board of the Article seven, uh, Article 12, so, 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 Subsection 9 of the Constitution State of Florida is amended by the administrative expended of the compliance requirements laws relating to capital outlay expenditures, cost and educational plans, including the current funds that precedes the State Board of Education capital outlay bonds and issuance the cobis otherwise issued losses and loans intended to be served at the any time of the capital outlay and debit services the use of capital outlay and debit services funds shall be used in the following pur purposes the state board of education used in the motor vehicle license taxes to pay the debit services on bond issuance by state under the provision constitution state of florida and paid the cost of the administrative capital outlay and debit services follow, follow through the money and on bond the proceeds may be used the board to play pay the purchases agreements eligible expenditures capital outlay debit services funds debit services loans including principal interest to pay the interest and interest local district provided all projects paid for the source of funds are reviewed and office approved by the commission of project priority listing ppls or uh, 
now. The two pay, pay loans made under the provisions of Section 1011, 1000, 1011, 14, 1011, 15, when the proceeds of the, such loans are used to pay for capital outlay projects and eligible for the expenditure of capital outlay debit service fund, um, debit services funds to pay survey requirements to capital outlay projects in order to prior is determined by the law and rule of the requirements of proceeds of set a board of education CBOIs may be used in the board to pay the survey rec recommended capital outlay projects, including the district approved PPL, um, which is prior pr project priority list, in order to priority as determined by the law or other requirements. C. Proceeds or designated projects. Proceeds of the capital outlay debit services funds der derived at the State Board of Education may be expended only for the cost of projects with designated original OEF, SCOA. Dash one I C or O O F E O E F S C O A one P S is applicable. Okay. Um. And office and or amended that the O F E two two sixteen F C and O E F two sixteen P S A is applicable. Res resolution re requesting authorization of issuance of bonds. The board finds a subsequent to the validation more more advent adventurous more advantages. Sorry, more advantages to districts for the change of project. Um, it may formally resolution request the State Board of Education amendment to the list of the project include the original board bond resolution. Expenditure to the project include the amended list shall not be made in the unit until unit approval of the amended the pro, um, pri, priority project list is received. Establish establish a priority of projects. The priority of the capital outlay debit services shall be established by the following procedure. The board shall formulate a proposed building pro program for projects to be made by the capital outlay uh, capital outlay capital outlay debit service funds the proposed building shall be based on the current improved the educational plant survey shall list the project in order the priority is determined by the board of survey law rules and other requirements Office shall verify the proposed building and priority projects conform the provision of the Constitution of the State of the Florida laws and state requirements of educational facilities. The office shall submit the list of commissioners for approval when approved the, by the commission of the building program. Priority projects shall be followed by the issuance of bonds to pay the projects as they pay as they go method for the purchase of projects. projects. The official finds the proposed building priority projects do not conform with the applicable regulations. The office shall notify the board, identify the reasons for nonconformity and suggestions for change. Exceptions to order the priority may be allowed if the board submitted evidence that it will be advantageous. Welfare district will provide the substantial savings. The board requesting exemption shall present a statement of writing, a writing in an office setting for the justification, and the office shall make a recommendation on a request for exemption of the exemption to the commissioner. The prior, prior the project priority project list um, shall remain in effect until all projects are completed until the change of the new or changed by a new approved project priority list and the project remains in the current approved educational plan survey the expenditure and expenditure in ordinary priority the capital LA debit service funds and pro proceeds lo loans lien purchases bonds issued in the capital LA debit services fund shall only be expected by the boards in order to prior it's prior by established below all priority prior, priority a projects recommended in the service must be under contract before low priority projects are eligible to expenditure of the capital outlay debit services funds except for the prescribed in this section prior prior a prior priority a new construction remodeling renovation action educational auxiliary facilities and plants and equipment ex ex educational programs auxiliary facility sites education sites site development site improvement incidents new construction correction safety to life health and sanitation deficiency during an official during any fiscal year, the board has authority encumbrance of 20% of its current entitlement to capital outlay, debit services, funds, and equipment of the existing satisfactory facility. Priority B, the maintenance and repair educational plant recommended for the continued use in educational plant survey. Other capital outlay educational plant improvement purposes authorized by law and requirements and auxiliary and priority B, C, and auxiliary facilities. Expenditure after all services or needs to meet. If a board has met a capital outlay needs to determine educational plant, it may be the state board of education for the approval expenditure of the capital outlay debit services funds for purpose determined by the board. A request for the approval expenditure for the these funds are submitted by the electronically office of the pri um, pri priority project list or the EFIC. Six. Um, PICO funds are available to the boards, including University of the SDBS, for the other education agencies. Um, each board includes the University of FSDB or other education other education agencies receive the capital outlay funds for the um, PICO. 
as annual and appropriated legislated PICO funds are currently authorized used under the following provision provisions administrated and expended all funds are occur occurring but the benefiting a board including universities and fsdb and other educational agencies under article 12 subsection 9a2 the constitution of the state of florida is amended by the pico funds shall be administrated and expended in compliance with the requirements of the law relating to the capital outlay uh, capital outlay expenditure of construction educational plans use of the P funds of pico funds that used um used following pr purposes the state board of education authority of the Public education and whatever capital outlay funds, gross receipt taxes to pay the debt, the service of the public educational capital outlay um, bonds issued by the state under the provisions of the Constitution of the state of Florida to pay the cost of administrative boards, including universities, have the authority to make to use peak, um, public educational capital outlay allocated pursuant to section 10,000. 101364 and Florida State Statute remodeling, renovation, maintenance, repairs, and site improvements to existing satisfactory facilities. The board shall spend at least 10% of its allocation under the section to care for, care, correct the satisf sat sat safety to life, health, and sanitation deficiencies. Remodeling projects must be sur survived. Re recommended eligibility scholars. Board boards may be used in the um, public education capital outlay funds allocated pursuant to section 10,013-64-2 Florida State Statute special facility construction account. <laughs> Um, projects using such funds is submitted to the other submitted to the office of the review compliance with the Florida Building Code, Florida Fire Prevention Code of the um, state requirements, educational facility uh, rules and statements. The state school board must use the public educational capital outlay funds allocated pursuant to Section 10,1364 Florida State Statute to pay capital outlay projects recommended. The educational plan survey district participation in a special fa facility construction account must account be able to. Um, their section of 1013643, the Florida State Statute funds toward the project for three year period commencing the year of the operation. Uh, uh, the Florida College Board Trustee University Bo Board of Trustees must use the public educational capital outlet funds allocated pursuant to section 1013644. Um, for Florida State statutes authorized legislative appropriation, school boards receiving p public education capital outlet funds allocated by the student section of 101364 Florida State statute must expend these funds toward the, any of the survey recommended projects. Seven, expectations. District school boards shall not use the public educational capital outlet for landscaping or construction of the football fields, bleachers, site, li site lighting for athletic facilities, tennis courts, stadiums, racquetball courts, or any other comp comp competition type facilities not required for the Physical education curriculum, 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 regional intra-district Florida st um, football stadiums must be constructed with the public educational ca capital outlay funds provided by the minimum two high school and two middle schools are assigned to, the, to have facilities and stadiums or survey requ recommended. So sophisticated auditoriums such as performing arts theaters or auditoriums for district school boards shall be limited to magnet performing arts schools and enhancing the performing arts facilities landscaping of the school shall be made only with local funds sources as, as required by the section 1013-64 B F I B and at Florida State statutes. Eight, sorry, eight. Funding is in remodel, remodeling, renovation, maintenance, repairs, and self-improving existing satisfactory fa facilities approving the public educational capital outlay debit services trust fund. These funds are calculated pursuant to the following basic formula. The building value times the building age over the sum of, of years of digits, assuming 50 years building a life of permanent life. For, fa for factory built structures, the reconstruction facilities, modular building, manufacturer building, similar structures, 35-year building life shall be used. Um, Re the relocatable facilities, 20-year building life should be used. Building values calculated multiple in each building total rent total net square feet of the appropriate net gross conversion rate of the multiplying the product for the current average new height, new construction cost. The building age is calculated multiple prior to the building age with one minus prior to the year of the funding allocation received. The subsection divided the prior year building to the net result shall be added to the number added to the number one. Each of the board shall receive the percentage generated for the preceding formula to the total amount appropriated for the purpose of the section earned interest the in interest earned of the board and including the university investing capital outlay funds shall be credited to the fund sources in earning earning the interest eligibility criteria for the eligible expenditure of the public education capital outlay 
a and a capital outlay de debit services funds will applicable be is based on the following will be applicable is based on the following criteria the public educa education agency the public ed education agency may expend the funds of the project specifically authorized legislative appropriations such as cooperative development between two boards cooperative development between private industry and school boards community educational facilities special facility construction and other programs designated in legislator school boards are acquired required to the five year educational plan survey um to have a five-year educational plan survey review to approve the Office of Five-Year District School Facilities Work Program reviewed on the office is additional that the pro project project priority list um, approved by the commissioner is required by the expenditure of the capital outlay debit services funds. These documents shall be submitted and approved by electronic with it, through EF EFIS. Um, Florida colleges. Florida colleges are required to have a five-year educational plan survey as a five-year capital improvement program. The Division of Florida Colleges provide a three-year project pri and priority listing inclusion of the commissioner annual fixed capital outlay. The legislative budget a request the educational specification shall be approved by the Division of Florida Colleges for new construction pro projects, including the first year th or th of the three-year project priority listing. All projects must be specifically authorized by legislative appropriation in addition with the project priority list approved by the commissioner is required for the expenditures of the capital outlay debit services funds the five-year educational plan survey the project priority listing shall be submitted and approved electronically by the EFIS, EFIS. for the school of the deaf and blind the FSDBS the Florida school of the deaf and blind required to have five-year educational plan for the federal, federal school of the deaf and blind must prepare to submit the department annual fixed capital outlay legislative budget request for the review, review of the approval of the office that analyzes the amount of the request fixed the capital outlay to determine the request of the consistent with the school's campus master plan and the project facility the space needed that may exceed the normal space of the occupant design criteria established for the here in the public schools the five-year educational plan survey shall be submitted um, approved pub, uh, ele electronically through EF EFIS universities are required to have a five-year survey five-year capital improvement program the board of governors must provide three-year project prior, prior priority list inclusion of the commissioner an annual fixed capital outlay legislative budget um, request educational specification shall be approved in the Chancellor of the State University System new construction projects, including the first year for, of the year prior project priority list. All projects must be specifically authorized by the legislative appropriation. Project types, capital outlay and debit services of the public educational capital outlay funds of the boards, including the University of the um, Federal School of Deaf and Blind and other educational agency proceed for the loans and bond issuance served by the capital outlay debit services flow through funds are to be extended bended for the capital outlay project projects shall include the following. Site acquisition, acquisition for the sites, additional sites of the site subject to appro approval of the appropriate agencies. Um, site work, site development, utilities, water, sewer, and other utilities necessary to serve the board facility, new construction equipment, furnishing for new educational and initiatory plants and facilities, edu additions, existing ed educational and initiatory plants and facilities when following the conditions have been met. One for the boards, the item classified equipment in either the financial program costing and reporting the Florida schools the 2013 Red Book pursuant to the 6A1001 Florida Administrative Code or accounting manual for the Florida Public Community Colleges 2000 pursuant to this rule 6A14072. Funds or equipment must be encumbered by the end of the official year following the um, following the official year the certificate of occupancy is, uh, is used. Um, Funds equipment must be encumbered by the end of the official year for the official year and a certification of occupancy is used. For the boards, including the university, the number of cost items that have been reasonable res relationship with the cost of facility and to activate any of these carried on there, uh, therein. Equipment acquired with the additional shall be restricted in addition to the addition. The items shall be are used to primarily facility and necessary operation for the facility and are required for the programs activities that for whether the facility recommended to be used in the current educational plan survey, remodeling, renovation, maintenance, repair lease facility capital out outlay improvements educational plans facilities leased by the board pursuant to section 1013 15 of the Florida state statute during any lease period the board encumbers the capital outlay improvement in any amount of two percent of the current construction per square feet established section 1013 64 Florida state statute multiplied by the gross square feet of the lease buildings multiplied by the number of the years of lease um, um, that is the 
the damage facilities restoration of the satisfactory um, facilities just the damage the storm fire and other provident prov prov causes project related costs a plan design biding uh, plans designing bidding administrative costs directly associated with the project prompt investment of, by a board and it shall be duty of the board to arrange the prompt investment of the state board education pro on proceeds of the legal investment is provided by the state federal law to an in earn a maximum possible legal amount of the interest subject to the internal revenue code as a um, as amended by the um, unit of such funds needed to pay for the cost of projects for which the bond was issued. All funds not responsibly expected to be needed for shall be promptly invested. Um, improperly expected funds of the bond board, including University of Fed um, Federal stu Student um, I believe that's Federal Students Florida School of Deaf and Blind um, other educational agencies improperly expended by the funds of board, including universities of on the um, Florida State, um, um, Florida State Deaf and Blind. Otherwise, educational agencies determined an independent adult shall be reimbursed to the state no later than next exceeding budget after the vi violation is cited. Upon failure to make such a reimbursement, the commissioner shall re 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 recommend to state the chief officer uh, that any of the Funds due to this under due from the state under the provision of the law withheld until, uh, until evidence has been submitted to the commissioner of the state fi fi chief financial officer that reimbursement has been made. Twelve, the lease rank agreement of the board, including university lease agreements of the board, including the university, must be paid to the following fund services provided by the expedi expenditure meets the requirements of the fund sources. Florida College Board and Trustee under University Board and Trustee may use operating funds of the lease facility sites and may use non non bonded public education capital outlet funds through lease re relocatable for use of the three years provided fax capital outlay fixtures is not notified no later than august 10th of the financial year beginning in the lease period school boards may use the funding usually use the funds operating budget discretionary local local, local capital outlay mileage 1.5 mills to make payments on lease agreements may be an unbounded public educational com um, capital outlay funds per, pursuant to section 1013 64 3c federal state um, statutes to lease a relocatable le for the for up to three years provided that the fixed capital outlay is notified no later than august 10th official year beginning with the lease period lease purchase agreements by the board including the university must be paid for the following funds provided by the expenditure meets the requirements of the funds sources the florida college universities may, may use the public educational capital outlet funds approved by the legislator um, Florida College Board of Trustees may use the capital capital outlet uh, capital outlay debit of services f flow through the funds of the payment of the principal and the interest. The school board may oper may use operating funds discretionary local capital outlay mileage 1.5 mills pursuant to the section 1011 e e Florida State statutes to pay amount not exceeding the aggregated three fourths of the proceeds levied to the of the district authorized capital outlet mileage. Um, May use the capital outlet debit services flow through funds, the payment principal interest provided to the project survey recommended and are approved by the public pro 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 project pro pro project priority, priority project list. Qualified public educational facilities, private bond allocations approved as part of the Economic Growth Tax Re 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 Reconciliation Act of 2001, pursuant to the Internal Revenue Section Code Sections 142A. Um, 12 and 142k qualified public educational facility bonds is defined as a source of financial assistance public school improvements hello all right um okay school boards may use the fund operating budget discretionary local uh, local capital outlay 1.5 mills um uh 14. Qualified public educational facility private bond allocations approved by the Department of the Economic Growth and Tax Re Relief Re Reconciliation Act of 2011, pursuant to Internal Revenue Section 142A12 and 142K. Qualified public educational facilities are defined as source of financial assistance for the public school improvement projects for the provided private or for profit. Private for profit corporation capital um, cost servicing realized the difference between taxable and tax exempt interest rates. Um, the tor t corporation developer agreed to the construct, rehabilitate, refurbish, equ equip a school facility, lease it a public school district. The school district makes it, um, lease it to a public sc school district. The school district makes it lease, lease payments to the developer duration of the loan, and the uh, developer makes it deb debit service payments on the bonds. Um, 
the QFP, the Qualified Public Educational Facilities, ensure the facility improvement is turned over to the school bond for the full ownership. Full ownership, no further lease payments are required. The term agreement cannot be exceed the term of the bond issuance. All pre-K through grade 12 public schools include public charter schools are eligible. Private schools are not eligible to participate in the qualified public education facility. Private bond allocation must be issued to the amount of at least 90% of the allocation granted. The full faith credit of the state of Florida does not support any of any qualified public educational facility so, um, bonds. Uh, Allowable projects. The proceed of a qualified public educational facility may not only be used foul as follows. Construction, rehabilitation, refurbishing, equipping, and public school facility by a corporation that leases it to the public school. This includes providing modular facilities, transforming a full ownership of the facility, improvements to the school board of the qualified public educational facility, bonds and matures. Um, Allocation and reallocation of funds among the eligible projects identified in the school district and application of reallocated amounts cannot exceed the total amount awarded. Allocation and reallocation of funds among projects applications of the total amount awarded is less than the district's original request. Um, as long as the fund is reallocated in the previous project pr pr basis, not exceeding the original amount of the requested for the each of the project. B. El eligible criteria. The applicant must be qualified public educational facility that is part of the public elementary school or public secondary school. The educational facility must not be must be owned by for by a private for profit um, corporation pursuant to the public private partnership agreement with the local educational agency. Th the corporation must agree to do or not to do one or more of the following: construct, include modular facility, rehabilitate, refurbish, equip a school facility, transfer a school facility back to the school board for no additional consideration at the end of the term of the agreement. The term of the agreement must not exceed the terms of the bonds. Financing pro must be limited to corporations whose own worthiness, financial vi viability of the project is sufficient to attract bondholders or a letter of credit from the bank guaranteeing repayment of the bond. No single corporation um, developer shall access more than 25% of the bond allocation of one year. Uh, administrator, each bond must determine whether the purpose for the qualified, percent, qualified public educational facilities is um, are issued conforming to the state and federal law regulations and debtness. Um, each board is responsible for the pay repayment of the monthly lease payments. School board shall use the public educational capital outlet and capital outlet debit service bond proceeds to make the qualified public educational facility debt but are allowed to use 1.5 mi mileage mills or mileage funds in accordance with the section 1001.4211b5 and 11315.2a5 Florida State Statutes. If 1.5 mills proceeds the pro proposed for the repayment of the qualified publication education pro debt, it should not exceed the um, Co sort of cost of account of um, cost of participants limited to establish for 1.5 mills in section 1011.71 for state statute qualified zone academics the taxpayer relief of action act, act of 1977 authorized qualified zone academic bonds and to finance public s school systems under under the program qualified schools may borrow little or no interest costs the qualified zone academic schools a tax amount issued by the state local government proceeded of which the issue to improve certain eligible public schools instead of the receiving per periodic instrument interest payments to the issuer the qba b bondholder potential bondholders and included the bond include the banks insurance companies corporations actively involved with the business lending um money receiving the federal income tax while the bond is an outstanding is an amount equal to the percentage of the base amount of the bond the district is responsible for paying the principal amount of the interest if the bond so specifies the full faith credit of the state floor does not support the qualified qualified zone academic bonds issued by local educational agencies Eligibility criteria. The school is located in a federal empowerment zone of the federal enterprise of the community. Therefore, the reasonable expectation is date of the issuance of the bond. At least 35% of the students attending the school participating in the program will be eligible for the free, free or reduced lunch costs established by the National School Lunch Act. Um, the eligible school district must possess com comments of the private ent entity managed from the partners to make the qualified contributions having a present value to the date of the Issuance not less than 10% proceeds of the bond issuance, including items such as equipment for the use of the qualified zone, including state-of-the-art technology, vocational equipment, school buses are not allowed. 
technical assistant developing curricular training technique te training teachers to promote marketing driving technical classrooms and internship field trips or other educational opportunities outside of the academic of students any other property including cash service specified by the local educational agency meets the IRS requirements the value of 10 percent matches as at, as at below or fair market value offered by the entity inter providing similar products or services um, the 10% match partner must help to set up the academic program academy to the, prepare the students with the college workforce. As required by the Qual Qualified Zoning Ac Academic Board legislated, the, academic, the academy program shall specify how many students will be trained in, with, in, with, in, in which academic um, areas, which using re with re which resources when the program was implemented, who will direct the implementation evaluation, how will the evaluation pre-post test will be accomplished. Um, the academic pro program will be established and operated under the supervision of the eligible local edu education agency, it is defined in Section 14101, Elementary Secondary Education Act of 1965. The provision. Um To provide education training below the post secondary um, level as follows: so such academic, uh, such an academy designed to co cooperation business to enhance academic curriculum, increase graduation, employment rates, and prepare students for the demands of college, increase the complex war first. Students are academic, uh, students in the academy subject to the same academic standards and assessments other than students educated in the school or district. The comprehensive, comprehensive, comprehensive educational plan for the program is approved by the school board. Eligible qualified zoning academic project. It's, um, qualified academic, I guess that's bonds, I'm sorry guys, Qual academy bonds, um, eligible quality, oh, where are we at, eligible qualified zone academic bonds project includes the following, rehabilitation, repairing public school facility in which the academic is established, providing equipment for the use of such academy, school buses are not allowed, Provi providing instructional materials and providing professional development for teachers. Administrative, in addition, will previously state it requirements that there are no administrative items. School boards must be cap must keep no, no. In addition, previously stated requirements that there are a number of administrative items. School boards must keep in mind. Um, while the federal government has provided the bro bro broad guidance of the quali qualified zone academic bond program. Department of the Education has further tailored these guidelines to meet to set statewide funding needs. The board shall be consulted both as sent requirements as a question as arise, but the board shall contact the fixed capital outlay service office of the clarification and guidance. Um, each board must determine whether the purpose of the qualified zone academy, academy, qualified zone ac academy, academy bond are used and issued to conform to state law regulations and debtness. Each board is responsible for repayment of the principal upon its maturity. School board shall not use the um, public educational capital outlay or capital outlay debit service um, bond proceeds to the qualified ed zoning academy, ac academy debt, but are not allowed. But are allowed to use le uh, legally available funds, including the 1.5 mil funds. 1.5 mil cent funds proceeds proceed proceeds the repayment of the qualified zone acad academy debit debt. Um, oh, sorry, the qualified zone academy bond debt. The process shall not be exceeded the qual uh, certified occupant um, or the um, the occupant. Um, something participants. Um, contractors uh, office of participants limits established 1.5 million um, revenue um, 1.1011.71 to Florida State statute. The board determines the allocation will not be used. The district must notify the fixed capital outlay office as soon as possible. If the scope of the board approved the project changes, the district shall consult with the fixed capital outlay office regarding the permissible real reallocation of the funds. Other 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 than pre previously approved projects identifying with the quali qualified zone academic bro award award letter the fixed capital outlay outlay d office disallows the relocation of the funds of new unapproved projects the board must also have the bonds issued on December 31st of the funding year the boards of the qualified zone academic academy bonds bonds um Copy the cover of the official statement must be forwarded to the fixed capital outlay office. December 31st, district fund allotments have been funded, reverted back to the state of state for reallocation. Reverted elements may reverted el allotments to be offered by the first participating lowest of historical allowments, the second lowest and unit allowment to the reallocated total. Allocation of the volume limitation are granted list granted first for the carrier for, for forward balances for the previous years. Than the current year balances.
16. Fixed capital outlay funding for the charter schools. Pursuant to Section 1013.62, Florida State saw that choose the Rule 6A 2000-0020 for the um, Florida Administrative Code to eligible charter schools shall receive fixed cap capital outlay funds as annually appropriated by the Florida Legislature. See Rule 6A 2000-10 in Florida Administrative Code, Articles um, 7, Section 12, Article 12, Section 9A and D, Constitution of the State of Florida, Sections um, 159, one thousand thirteen zero three, one thousand thirteen thirty four, thirteen one, thirty one, one thousand thirteen forty, one thousand thirteen fifty one, one thousand thirteen sixty, one thousand thirteen sixty one, one thousand thirteen sixty one, one thousand thirteen sixty two, one thousand thirteen sixty two, one thousand thirteen sixty four, one thousand thirteen sixty five, one thousand thirteen sixty eight, one thousand thirteen seven hundred thirty five, one thousand thirteen seven hundred thirty six, one thousand thirteen seven hundred thirty seven, one thousand thirteen seven hundred thirty eight, and one thousand thirteen seventy five, four state statute, one thousand thirteen seventy five, 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 one thousand thirteen sevent